Hello, beautiful people. Shalom, money makers. I want to talk to you guys about the latest and the greatest crypto news. We're going to talk about Bitcoin. We'll talk about Shiba Inu, a little bit about XRP. There's a lot of big news happening in the crypto market. We got job reports today. We have Morgan Stanley buying crypto. We have Kamala Harris accepting crypto. We have Samsung coming in and we have a indicator that is usually a bad thing will it be a bad thing again before we get on all into the crypto news and all that i wanted to share something with you right we'll get we'll get into it don't worry right i i i think that i bring some of my personality some of my you know personal stuff and many people like it some people don't like it um but i wanted to share with you something and of course it will come together with crypto and the state of the crypto market don't worry about it <laughs> i i want really only one thing uh beautiful smile smash the like button the camera might go out i recorded i started recording this before and it's on the fritz i don't know what's happening so if i disappear and you just hear my beautiful voice i'll go to the small screen and you can see my you know my computer in the screen in there and you might not see me but it's okay right you saw me already <laughs> so recently a lot of things that i've been trying to do and not you know really crypto related finance related but not crypto related in a sense I keep hitting walls, right? I keep trying to do stuff and I keep hitting walls and I had stuff planned out and I'm trying to do something and they say, no, 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 you can't do it like this. You have to do it like that. But if I do it like that, it could be bad for me, right? And things like that. And I don't know, the past few weeks, I've just felt like something's off, right? And, you know, maybe I wasted all my luck <laughs> on, uh, I, I shared a few days ago that I was going to drive to a, a restaurant and it was about 20 minutes away. We got into the car, we started driving, and then suddenly I saw that there was a new one that opened up right there, right? And so maybe I wasted all my luck on that. <laughs> uh, but the crypto market is feeling a little bit like that. Sometimes you just feel like everything you're trying to do, boom, you keep getting pushed back. You keep another, you know, another one, another one, another one, right? And you keep just getting pushed down and you're like, oh, I can't deal with this anymore. Why is this happening to me? Why can't the crypto market pump? Why can't my investments pump? Why can't I retire already? Why can't I quit my nine to five job? All these things are weighing on us, right? And I've learned in life that things will usually work out, right? Sometimes it doesn't seem that way, but usually things work out. Unless you go to the extreme, right? And you go all in on, you know, some shit point and lose everything, right? Usually you're able to get out of these bad situations. Now, a lot of people are talking about how October is going to be the month. It's just because historically it's been a very good month and September hasn't been a very good month. So far, it hasn't been the best opening to the month. Of course, August opened worse, July opened worse. <laughs> Remember there was a crash in July 4th, 5th, 3rd, 4th. There was a crash in August, the beginning of August. So, so far we haven't had a big crash yet, right? So that's the silver lining, but it's important to understand that even if we have good news, like we saw yesterday for the crypto market with the job reports, we saw a little bit of a pump and then it sold off, right? What happened there is that there's not a lot of liquidity. There's not a lot of interest. People are waiting on the sidelines. There's not a lot of leverage positions that usually fuel the market. Uh, and so we're just in this kind of intra state here where it's a little bit up, a little bit down, a little bit up, a little bit down. And when this is happening, people get the most frustrated because it's not even going up big than down big. It's just, you know, going down, 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 and then suddenly up a little bit and then down, 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 down. And I'm already seeing the comments, you know, crypto's a scam. I'm selling out my crypto. Um, we're never going to make any money from the, all these kinds of comments that you see once in a while when the market is eh, right? We're starting to see them again. Does that mean that we're going to see big movements in October? Maybe, maybe not, right? We don't know exactly how things are going to play out. I'm not a prophet. Uh, I don't know exactly what's going to happen in the crypto market. Um, but I've been here before. I'll probably be here again, right? And uh, this is just how it is. Sometimes, you know, that's why I tell you guys, I try to keep it here, right? Uh, sometimes, um, like I'm telling you, my life, I keep just, you know, my personal life, my family and that, it's it's great, right? But stuff that I've been trying to do, I keep getting hit, right? Uh, and I keep getting pushed back and things get complicated. And I'm trying to figure everything out. Hopefully uh, it gets figured out, but you don't know, right? Uh, and same thing with the crypto market, right? So I try to keep my emotions around here. And if things go down, I'm okay. If things go up, I'm okay, right? And so that's very important uh, to to remember okay um so 
All I ask from you is that you give me a beautiful smile, right? To send out the good, good vibes. Smishity smash that like button and let's get into it. So currently we're seeing a little bit of pullback here on the crypto market. We're seeing um, Bitcoin at 56,000. 957 you can see it dipped a little bit lower um on the zone here went all the way to 55,000 during the night so this is actually right it went yesterday to the lowest point that it has been since we had the big sell-off in the beginning of august right so we had this at 56,000, um but now we're yesterday we saw a lower level right and this just reminds us right this sell-off here just reminds us that the crypto market continues to be volatile, but there's opportunities here. But when you have these big movements, these big candles, it can get very sticky, right? It can get very dangerous. And we have Ethereum down 2%. We have uh, SHIB down 2.21%. Um, Interestingly, there was a massive candle um, that happened around here, right? About 94 billion Shiba Inu on one candle, which was interesting right um right here and now i just saw another massive sell-off candle at 83 billion so i don't know what somebody's doing something here this is the binance to tether graph interestingly what's happening here did someone get liquidated uh it's kind of hard to tell uh what's happening just price wise right and so it's important to remember xrp pulling back a little bit here but you know still over the 54 level it's important to remember that the market will continue to be volatile. Some people will say, oh, it's, you know, a discount. I can get it at lower levels. Some people will say, I'm going to wait till it gets to X, Y, Z. It's all up to you at the end of the day. If you want to buy, to sell, to hold, I can't tell you to do all, any of those. Of course, this video is for entertainment purposes only, and you should always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest. But it will be interesting to see uh, where we go from here right uh and so today we have another job reports initial jobless claims labor we have ism non non-manufacturing pmi uh and macros and things like that that could affect the crypto market could affect what's happening so these are things that we need to watch out for and see what's happening okay uh and so just keep that on your radar so you know what's happening what's going on if you want to take advantage of these movements you can do it with our partner margex link is in the description down below you can go long you can go short but please lay please trade responsibly if you use my link i'll get a little bit of commission so thank you for that so let's move on to the big news here morgan stanley just disclosed owning six percent of its institutional fund portfolio in bitcoin investments wild times morgan stanley the 1.4 trillion morgan stanley uh is just bought into into crypto into bitcoin uh and um we keep seeing these massive, massive companies coming into the crypto market. Uh, if countries and, and governments don't wise up soon, um, they're going to have a big problem because crypto is the future. We're seeing this, right? They keep investing into the crypto market, even though the price is wonky right now, right? <laughs> um, we're seeing more and more. And Kamala Harris, she finally decided to start uh, accepting donations. Uh, for her presidential campaign in Bitcoin and in Ethereum, in crypto, uh, through Coinbase. And um, she she's coming around the mountain when she comes. But I think that most of the crypto market understands already uh, that Trump is the way, right? Uh, for Just for crypto. Everything else, I don't know, right? Uh, but it seems that he's a lot more pro crypto than she is you know just accepting donations is okay but she has no plan for crypto you know trump told us what he wants to do with crypto what he wants to do with bitcoin um so he he's you know much more head uh than she is um so i hear my uh neighbors are starting to drill into the wall i hope <laughs> it doesn't get uh, noisy here um we'll see what happens with this we're only a few days away from the presidential election debate We'll see if they have, uh, if they talk about crypto, if it comes up. I don't know, but we'll see, right? Uh, Samsung just entered crypto after we saw in Japan Sony entering the uh, crypto space. We're seeing Samsung in South Korea um, entering crypto. Samsung's next invest in Web3 innovator Starlate Start Tail Labs, partnering with Sony on the Layer 2 blockchain development. So Sony and Samsung. Samsung's announced this investment, a leading Web3 firm. 
we know that um, the South Korean government is pro crypto. And so seeing that I think they're the largest company in South Korea, uh, maybe, you know, maybe top three, top five. Uh, and the fact that they're entering the crypto market as well just shows you how when you have a government that is pro crypto, it's a lot easier for companies to do things like this. Uh, whereas if the government is anti crypto and then you have companies moving to other countries, paying their taxes there and, you know, it's not good for, for the economy. And on that note, right, in the U.S. economy, we had a inversion here of the yields, uh, the two-year and the 10-year uh, yield. Um, it's been 790 days since it dropped below, right, zero. Longest yield curve inversion in history started in 2022. It ends today. What happens next? Usually when that happens, it means that a recession is coming, right? Uh, and that's what history has told us. And you can see here people are saying stocks drop and bonds rally, right? That is a possibility that could happen. If the Fed decides to reduce interest rates, will that help some? Who knows? Um, but, you know, you don't want to enter a recession as a coming president. People Maybe they'll be asked about this. But this could freak out the market a little bit. It could be why we're dropping a little bit here today. Um, you know, if we take a look at what's happening with the VIX, the VIX is actually dropping. So interestingly, uh, and the stock market is a little bit in the green this morning. Um, so, so, uh, but it's also pulling back a little bit. Um, so we'll see what happens. We'll see where the market goes today. We'll see where the market goes going into the weekend. And it's going to be very interesting to see where we can go from here. Of course, don't forget to smash the like button. Check out the description below. Subscribe for more crypto daily updates, even though I know the the, the views are down all across the board. People are less interested. I really appreciate that you joining me today. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.